Hello, Prof. Rob Fenza here, but we're on site today. It's Sunday and it's nice and quiet. Tomorrow it'll be bustling around here. And I wanted to have a chance to show you a little bit of the progress. This is our sanctuary. And if you recall, we doubled the size of the sanctuary. So you'll be able to comfortably seat 500 people here. And I think it's turned out very well. It'll be open ceiling, very, very quiet air conditioning system, and a beautiful stage, about 52 feet long and about 19 feet wide. It's going to be magnificent. This is an area that I wanted to point out because of all the light. This is a north wall, and the sanctuary is on this side, totally isolated, totally insulated, quiet, dark. But this space out here will be full of life on a Sunday and, and during the week. At the end of this hallway, we've arranged for a space that'll be a great gathering space, maybe even a spot for a coffee counter in the future. So I wanted to point that out. We're going to head downstairs now. Again, what I love about this addition, it brings so much light in. It really feels good. Okay, we're now leaving the upper level. We're now on the mid-level. The mid-level is an area that connects to the outside yard. It connects to the courtyard, I should say, and also connects to um, a contemplative garden in the back and some social space at this level. We're going to walk in. This would be where the elevator lets off at this level. And if you go down to the lower level, we now have a full, beautiful entrance on Hannam Avenue. So we've changed the feel of the church to make it much more inviting from the street. Now follow me. All right, we're in the Prov Kids space right now. And this entire space is Prov Kids. We've doubled the capacity, doubled the number of classrooms. So we can double the capacity of kids that we have. And that's really a good thing because our church has a lot of kids. This is the reception area. And it rolls into an area that is another great space for gathering, for classes, for worship, for play. And I just want to show you a feature here. Instead of putting fixed windows all the way across, we decided to put insulated pane garage doors in. And the idea is we can open these up in the spring, in the summer, in the fall. Most of the year, we'd be able to use this space out here as ancillary space for the inside, inside, outside. This wall that we built, remember the old stone wall we had that was falling down? Well, we built a really beautiful structural wall. And the wall is going to have landscaping in front of it. There'll be cascading landscaping. We'll have pots of flowers, um, benches. Where Jesse's pointing now is an area that we, we're going to set up for a contemplative garden. Just no, no limits, really, to what we can do with the space. And let's just walk this way real quick. <clears throat> I know it doesn't look like much now, but there's our bridge. There'll be a mural on that wall, There'll be some trees planted in here. And then that area there is going to be a beautiful flat lawn area with some astroturf. So we don't have to mow it. So we don't have to worry about the mud. And then there'll be a space in this area for um, ceremonies projecting out onto uh, a seated area where um, we can do our wedding ceremonies and things like that. All kinds of events can be held out here. Well, if we had more time, there's so much I could show you in the building. It's so exciting. So many features, so many benefits. But I want to shift gears right now. Since I'm a member of the fundraising team as well, I want to talk to you a little bit about where we are. We had a three-year campaign. We're in the third year of that campaign right now. We originally had planned on a $3.5 million campaign. We're now planning on a $4.5 million campaign. And I've gone over some of the things, some of the issues with the old building, the site, et cetera that drove up the costs. We're at 3.8 million 
raised so far, or pledged so far. Um, we need to be at four million before we move in, and we're hoping we can move in, hopefully, sometime in July. Um, it really depends on how the contractors get back to work and how things flow, but we're making progress again. Um, and it wouldn't it be nice if we could be at four million before we actually move in for the dedication. And then sometime by the end of the campaign, we need to cross the four and a half million target. Um, and that's not that far to go. We only need to raise uh, 700,000 more. And I took a look at it. We only have had 175 families pledge. We've got about 275 registered. So there's still another 100 families that could step in at this point. There's also a lot of new families that are coming and joining us. And we certainly will give everyone an opportunity to have skin in the game and own a piece of this church. Um, but if we looked at, uh, if everyone just extended their pledge for one more year, I'm sorry, if everyone extended their pledge for six months, we would get to four and a half million. And if um, half the people extended their pledge for a year, we would get to the 4.5 million. So we're definitely gonna be able to do it. It's just a matter of keeping the momentum going, praying, and asking God to help us get there. The campaign officially ends in December, so we're only in May, we've got lots of time, and we need to just continue to pray, and hopefully people can extend their pledge into next year, and uh, we'll get there. And the other thing I wanted to say is that because this building is so special, we are gonna grow. And I think that we've done our work um, expanding the table so more can come and hear about Jesus Christ. And that's really what it was all about in the first place. I think we're there, and I think you'll see when we, uh, when we arrive in July for our dedication, I think you'll see um, that God's work is in place. Thank you very much.